Can Jupiter become a star? How many of you have looked up to the sky and thought Jupiter was a star? It is pretty bright, making its rankings as the third brightest object in the night sky after the Moon and Venus. While indeed it could be mistaken for one, Jupiter is only a planet. It does not sparkle or twinkle like a star. But what if it became one? Is that even possible? And if yes, how would our solar system look like? Today we're going to talk about one of the most debated topics in the scientific community. Can Jupiter become a star? Now before we get into the details, let's first clarify something. We're not talking about turning Jupiter into a flaming ball of gas where we can roast marshmallows and sing campfire songs. No, no, we're talking about the possibility of Jupiter becoming a fully-fledged star capable of producing its own light and heat. So let's dive right into it. Before we move any further into the video, I want to let you guys know about Atlas VPN. With more than 6 million users worldwide, Atlas VPN was created by cybersecurity specialists and IT engineers to make the internet accessible and secure for everyone. And it's more than just a VPN. Atlas VPN blocks all malicious links, ads, and trackers, keeping your online experience safe and secure. But that's not all. Are you tired of overspending while shopping online? With Atlas VPN, you can save some coins and get the best deals while shopping online, including for online subscriptions like Netflix and Spotify, airlines, hotels, and more. And the best part? You can protect unlimited devices with a single subscription. Yes, you heard it right. With Atlas VPN, you can safeguard all your devices and enjoy online protection for just $1.83 per month. Plus, you'll get three months extra and a 30-day money-back guarantee, making it the best VPN deal out there. You can also unlock your favorite content from all over the world, including legendary shows like Friends on Netflix, no matter where you are. And if you're worried about your Google searches being tracked, Atlas VPN can help with that too, keeping your searches private and secure. So what are you waiting for? Grab the big deal now by clicking the link in the video description below and start protecting your privacy while enjoying all the benefits of Atlas VPN for a ridiculously low price. And don't forget, this offer is only available for a limited time. If you're wondering how I use Atlas VPN in my daily life, let me tell you. I love binge-watching Rick and Morty on Netflix. And with Atlas VPN, I can access it from anywhere in the world with any restrictions. It's truly a game changer. So be quick and grab this deal before it's too late. Click the link in the video description and get started with Atlas VPN today. Jupiter, potential star? Can Jupiter become a star? Well, the answer is both maybe and no. Let's start with the no. Jupiter cannot become a star like our sun. The sun is massive and it accounts for 99.8% of the total mass of our solar system. Jupiter, on the other hand, is the largest planet in our solar system, but it only accounts for about 0.1% of the total mass. To put it simply, Jupiter doesn't have enough mass to become a star. But wait, there's more. Even if Jupiter had enough mass to become a star, it still wouldn't be able to become a star like the Sun. You see, stars are formed from the collapse of gas and dust clouds, and they need a minimum mass of about 0.08 times the mass of the Sun to achieve nuclear fusion, which is the process that produces the energy that stars emit. Jupiter's mass is only about 0.001 times the mass of the Sun, which means it's not even close to being massive enough to start fusion. In fact, Jupiter is only 318 times the mass of the Earth. So no matter how much Jupiter wishes to be a star, it just doesn't have what it takes. But hold on, let's not give up on Jupiter just yet. There is a way Jupiter could potentially become a star, but it's not exactly the most practical solution. Picture this, we somehow managed to collect a massive amount of hydrogen gas and dump it onto Jupiter, with a needle maybe. This would require a lot of gas, about 80 times the current mass of Jupiter. Once Jupiter has enough mass, it would be able to achieve nuclear fusion and become a star. But here's the catch. In order for Jupiter to become a star, it would have to be artificially manipulated. And let's face it, we don't really have the technology to do something like that. Plus, where are we going to find 80 times the mass of Jupiter in hydrogen gas? 
Are we going to raid Saturn or Uranus for their hydrogen gas? Brown dwarf, maybe? Now let's talk about the possibility of Jupiter becoming a brown dwarf. Brown dwarfs are often referred to as failed stars because they're objects that are too massive to be considered planets, but not massive enough to be considered stars. They form in the same way as stars, through the collapse of a cloud of gas and dust under the force of gravity. However, unlike stars, brown dwarfs do not have enough mass to generate the temperatures and pressures required to ignite the fusion of hydrogen into helium in their cores. As a result, brown dwarfs emit very little light and heat compared to stars. They are often referred to as cool objects because their surface temperatures can range from around 1000 to 2000 Kelvin, much cooler than the surface of the Sun, which has a temperature of around 5800 Kelvin. Brown dwarfs can emit some light in the infrared part of the spectrum, which makes them detectable by infrared telescopes. So, could Jupiter become a brown dwarf? Well, the answer is maybe. To become a brown dwarf, Jupiter would have to be at least 13 times more massive than it is now. If that were the case, Jupiter would be able to produce some heat and light through deuterium fusion, a type of fusion that occurs in brown dwarfs. But unfortunately, Jupiter is not even close to being massive enough to become a brown dwarf. So once again, Jupiter is out of luck. Now that we've established that Jupiter cannot become a star or a brown dwarf, let's talk about why people even entertain the idea in the first place. Well, for starters, it's an interesting thought experiment. Plus, Jupiter and the other gas giants in our solar system are often compared to failed stars because they share some similarities with stars. They both consist mostly of hydrogen and helium, and they both emit more energy than they receive from the Sun. But just because Jupiter cannot become a star doesn't mean it's not an important part of our solar system. In fact, Jupiter plays a crucial role in our solar system. Jupiter's immense gravitational pull helps to protect our solar system from asteroids and comets. It acts as a shield, attracting and deflecting dangerous objects away from the Earth and the rest of the inner planets. Without Jupiter, our solar system would be a much more dangerous place. So there you have it. Jupiter cannot become a star, but it's still an important and fascinating planet in our solar system. Consequences on Solar System But what if it did become a star? What would happen to our solar system? If Jupiter were to become a star, it would for sure have a significant impact on the solar system. The most immediate effect would be an increase in heat and light, as Jupiter would emit a significant amount of energy. However, this increase in energy would not be enough to cause any significant changes to the Earth's climate, as the Sun is still much more massive and luminous than Jupiter. One of the most significant impacts of Jupiter becoming a star would be on the orbits of the other planets in the solar system. Jupiter's gravity has a significant influence on the orbits of the other planets, and if it were to become a star, its gravity would become even stronger. This could cause the orbits of the other planets to become more eccentric or change altogether, potentially leading to collisions or ejections from the solar system. Jupiter's gravity causes disturbances in the orbits of the other planets, pulling them out of their original paths and into new, more eccentric orbits. This gravitational influence can also cause some planets to speed up or slow down in their orbits, causing them to move in resonance with Jupiter. One example of this is the orbit of Saturn, which is in a 2 to 1 resonance with Jupiter, meaning that for every two orbits of Jupiter, Saturn completes one orbit. This resonance is due to the gravitational influence of Jupiter on Saturn's orbit, which causes it to speed up or slow down depending on its position relative to Jupiter. Jupiter's gravity also helps to stabilize the orbits of the inner planets, particularly Earth. Jupiter's strong gravitational pull helps to deflect asteroids and comets that could potentially collide with Earth, protecting our planet from potentially catastrophic impacts. Another potential impact would be on the moons of Jupiter itself. Some of these moons, such as Europa and Ganymede, are thought to have subsurface oceans of liquid water beneath their icy crusts. These oceans are believed to be heated by tidal forces generated by Jupiter's gravity, which causes the moons to flex and release heat. And if Jupiter were to become a star, the heat from Jupiter would increase significantly and could cause the subsurface oceans to evaporate or freeze, potentially destroying the environments that potentially support life. This could have significant implications for the potential habitability of these moons and our search for life beyond Earth. In addition, the loss of these subsurface oceans could also cause changes in the moon's surface features, such as cracks and ridges caused by the expansion and contraction of the ice. 
These changes can also impact the moon's geological activity and the potential for geological processes, such as volcanic activity or tectonic plate movements. The Death of Jupiter as a Black Hole Now let's take it further in the imagination. Could Jupiter become a black hole after its death as a star? Black holes form when extremely massive stars undergo a supernova explosion and the resulting core collapse to form an extremely dense and compact object. The minimum mass required for a black hole to form is approximately three times the mass of the Sun. Jupiter's mass is only about 0.1% that of the Sun, so it is nowhere near massive enough to form a black hole. Even if Jupiter were magically compressed to an extremely small size, it would still not be massive enough to become a black hole. To become a black hole, an object needs to be compressed to a point known as the Schwarzschild radius, which is proportional to the object's mass. The Schwarzschild radius for Jupiter would only be about 3 centimeters, which is much smaller than the physical size of the planet. But let's assume for the sake of discussion that Jupiter had somehow been transformed into a star with enough mass to potentially become a black hole. What would happen to its surroundings? First, it's important to note that the planets in the solar system would continue to orbit the center of mass of the system, which would remain at or near the location of the Sun. The gravitational pull of the Sun is much stronger than that of Jupiter, so the orbits of the planets are mostly determined by the Sun's gravity. However, if Jupiter were to become a black hole, its gravitational influence would change from that of a planet to that of a black hole. Black holes have much stronger gravitational fields than planets or stars, and they can bend the paths of nearby objects and pull them towards their event horizons. Therefore, the planets in the solar system would continue to orbit the Sun, but they would also be influenced by the gravity of the black hole that was once Jupiter. The exact nature of their orbits would depend on the mass and distance of the black hole, as well as the initial orbital parameters of the planets. In general, the orbits of the outer planets such as Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune would be more strongly affected by the presence of the black hole than the orbits of the inner planets such as Earth and Venus. Cool, right? As we continue to explore the universe, we will undoubtedly come across more interesting and thought-provoking questions. And who knows, maybe one day we will find a way to turn Jupiter into a star. But until then, let's appreciate Jupiter for what it is – a giant, beautiful planet that helps protect our solar system. Thanks for joining us today, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fun and educational content about the universe.